Hello everybody, my name is Gavin Toe. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to play a game that is also on Steam for free. The name of the game is Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. I'm guessing there's jump scares in the game since it's uh, called Jump Scare Mansion, but I actually have no idea. I did watch the pictures though, and it looks kind of childish-ish. I'm not sure. Maybe it's great, maybe it's scary as hell, or maybe it's uh, <laughs> completely ridiculous. I have no idea. We're gonna try that out right now. So if you're new in here, please subscribe to the channel. It would make me a very happy man. And if you do, don't forget to turn on the notifications, or you will miss out on every video that I post in here, and we wouldn't want that to happen, would we now? You can go follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, under the name of Givento. I reply to every DM you might send me over there, and I reply to all of the comments down below. So without further ado, let's play Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. For as long as you can remember, legends have been told about the derelict mansion up on the hill that casts a blanket of darkness over the town. The history of the house itself is virtually unknown, and even the town's oldest residents cannot remember the mansion's origin. Being an avid history enthusiast, you embark upon the mountain to visit the manor hoping to shed some light on the backstory of this crumbling fortress of darkness. Nice, I like the graphics. Press enter. <laughs> oh, this is so Nintendo-ish. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. I am spooky. Oh, hi there, Spooky. How's it going? And this is my home. Well, I like it. You, humble player, make it through a thousand rooms. Can you find what lies at the end? Or is there even an end? Because I, I don't really know. Anyway, just, just go. <laughs> okay. We're going. We're totally going. This is, this is awesome. Oh my god, I love the graphics. It's like being... In a three in a three dimensional Nintendo world. How do I open? There we go. This is so cool. Any jump scares? I ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah, you know that. Lovely hallway. Okay. Interesting. I have no idea what this ooh what this game is about. If I can pick up any items or anything. Oh, what was that? Okay, let's go in. Ooh, it's becoming kind of a maze. Oh no, there are way too many doors. You know what? I'm gonna go with the closest one. Oh fuck me. Okay. Wow, we don't even have a map. Room 9. Oh! Holy shit! Jesus! Dude! <laughs> that's so... Ah! Okay. I mean, that's not even scary, but I definitely didn't see it coming. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. This is so creative. This is so creative. Why aren't there more games like this? What awaits us? Ooh, another purple card. <laughs> Fucking shit! Look! Sultan's <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Is that a loaf of bread? Oh, you don't look too happy, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, moving on. Okay, no more. Motherfucker! <laughs> I hate. I hate spiders, and you know I hate spiders. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Your name is not Mo. Fuck, we're gonna go here. Ooh, nice landing. Okay, so there's seriously a thousand rooms in this? Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm not gonna go with the closest one this time. What was that? All right, what do we got? Oh, fuck. No, no, no. No! No! 
I don't remember which door I came from. Uh, I think it was from here. Or was it? Oh, God damn it. This is messing with my mind way too much. Ooh. New music. Lovely painting on the wall. Can I interact with it? Nope. Okay. Let's go in here then. Ooh. At first this place just seemed cute, but I've been here for days now. I'm feeling quite parched now, and I keep getting this feeling like I'm being watched by something. This is not romantic at all. Well, I couldn't agree more. This game is going to make me crazy. Ooh, another note. I know something is following me, but I feel like I'm prancing through the same rooms over and over. Well, no shit, that's how I feel. Hopefully leaving notes and breadcrumbs will prove I'm making progress and reaching some destination. I just hope I don't run out of ink. I'm dreadfully thirsty. Okay. That's funny, there has been a fucking jump scare in a long time. The never ending story. La da 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 da. Am I gonna get to a thousand rooms? I can't believe this. Ink. Not quite quenching my thirst. Taste is terrible. Stains are terrible. I don't think drinking it was a very romantic idea. Well, no, you can't drink ink. What are you, stupid? Come on, man. <laughs> Oh ho! All right, all right. Keep that blood pumping. I found something today to satisfy my unromantic thirst. I woke today from a brief faint and found before me a bottle of red wine. I'm not sure what brand or year, for there is no label. All I gather is that it tastes strongly metallic. Dude, you didn't drink wine, you drank blood. What's this? Okay, awesome. I saved the game. That's that's cool. No? Oh. Oh, I okay. Well, that is definitely interesting. Let's go in here. Oh, what a nice Resident Evil feeling. <laughs> Just when I thought that this game was about to get boring, it actually gets a lot funnier. That's very promising. Ooh, damn. I wonder if I can fall down. Okay. What is this? Nice chair. Wow. Oh. It's like a bottomless hole. Am I in hell? Hmm, which way to go? I'm gonna go with left. Wise choice, given to. Really wise choice. Okay, a green puddle of something. I don't know what that is. Oh, another note. Spouting, splashing, soaking. Innards, ingest, invoking. Nailing never stops the choking. Okay, nice poem. WHAT IN THE ENTIRE FUCK IS THAT?! Okay. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Is, is it still after me? Okay, fuck, it's still after me. God damn, what the fuck is that?! It's not after me. Fuck me. You can go through walls. Oh my god. Okay. Next! Run away, Game & Toe. RUN! Oh no, it's sticky. Ah, I'm moving so slow through this! behind me I don't think he's gaining on me move it I don't know what that was but I didn't like it fuck he's after me oh okay damn he's faster than I thought is he gonna kill me he's gonna kill me isn't he move it move it okay okay now we're gonna have to move really fucking fast I don't have any energy left He's behind me, isn't he? <sighs> okay, this game actually just me the fuck out. I did not see that this coming at all, whatsoever. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Run, 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 run. Is he behind me? I'm fine. God damn it to hell. Move it. Oh shit, that's cheating, man. You can fucking over over the air. Move. I can't run. Oh god damn it. Move it. Move it. 
refill my energy, please. Can I upgrade my energy or whatever the fuck? I'm gonna have to do this up to a thousand rooms? Oh, what's this? An arcade. No way! What? Wall of the spook. Oh. Really? <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's funny. <laughs> this is really cool. What the hell is this? Oh my god, awesome. It's Pac-Man, but I'm a ghost. Gonna get you, Pac! <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> Gotta move on! But that was a really nice touch to this game. I really liked that. Open. Oh! Oh, thank God. Save the game. Thank you, God. I don't think that was wine. You don't say! Resident Evil! Okay... Oh! Jesus Christ, the brightness! Oh! Oh! It's a puzzle! That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. That is wrong. God damn it. How the fuck do I get out of here? <gasps> I made it out! Oh, what is this? Cat does. Enter. Okay. <laughs> Access specimen database. Modify house lay. Ooh, this is interesting. What's this? Specimen number one. Docile. A cardboard cutout figure that springs out from the walls. Proved not very effective against healthy subjects. Well, that's right. Specimen two. Physical tearing. A mostly semi-solid based specter that frequently changes matter states. Proved very effective against weaker or slower subjects. God damn it. That's the guy that was chasing me, I swear to god. Specimen number three. Infectious bite. No. A test specimen being developed at GL Labs should prove useful when released. Trials have shown it is adequately effective to average subjects. Oh shit. A 14th century spirit that was contained and relocated here. Tests have yet to reveal origin, but all reveal all reveal but all relevant information has been placed into testing chamber. Proved effective, but not greatly more than previous specimens. Okay. A creature found inside a church of a small town. Subjects are lost after contact with the specimen. Oh shit. Current method of killing is unknown. Proved extremely effective against subjects with mental issues and weak will. Okay, nice. Nice to hear. I gotta give it to you that the creators of this game are really onto something good. This, uh, this is impressive. I like this. So far, it hasn't gotten boring yet. Oh, oh. Got a nice laboratory feel about this. The door is locked. <laughs> nice. Not nice. Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. Oh I'm so screwed. Aren't I? Stupid Ooh. Subject 5 is growing more and more restless. I told Spook we need more funds for sedatives, but he just left and I flew into the ceiling without more chemicals to keep these things docile. I'm not sure how much longer we can keep them there safely. Generic generic lab assistant. I think I picked up a keycard, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. I believe Subject 5 is loose. The glass around its container is shattered and I can faintly hear clicking coming from the, from the ceiling. I don't know that... I don't know what will happen now. If it is out and alive, then this is probably my last report. The clicking is getting louder now. Please don't. Please don't do this to me. Fucking Christ! What the fuck was that? Jevlari fuck! Okay. Run. <laughs> There's no clicking sound. Oh, I'm regenerating health automatically. Okay. This is bad for anyone's heart rate. Okay, it's just that you can't see them coming. Oh shit! How many are you? Oh god! What the fuck is that? Okay, we're gonna try to make it to the next save point. 
and then we're gonna cut this episode there. I'm gonna have to divide this into more than one part because this, if I'm gonna go to a thousand rooms, we're never gonna finish. Okay, everybody, we're gonna have to wrap this episode up right there. This is clearly a very, very long game because if I've understood the game correctly, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to find a thousand rooms before we can complete this game. And we are at about 140. <laughs> I really dig this game. This is a great game. The Nintendo 8-bit feel is right there. Even the sounds that come with it. That, that is great stuff. And just when I thought that it was about to get boring, when I thought that, you know, we're just going to see the same room eh? time after time after time, we got into this arcade thing with games within the game, which was a really nice touch. I really like that. And at first I thought that the only enemies were these papery things coming out of the walls, which weren't actually really scary, by the way, but they definitely caught me off guard. <laughs> so I did jump. But, you know, then this demon thingy green dude came up behind me and chased me. And uh, that, was, uh, that was definitely a heart race. <laughs> so I really like this game. I highly recommend you playing this game, and you should totally play this game even if you saw this episode because there is a lot more to it because we're only at 140 room. It is for free on Steam, go try it out yourselves if you want to do that, and thank you so much for watching, this is episode 1, there's gonna be an episode 2, definitely. So if you haven't already subscribed, go do that, I would be very happy if you did that, and leave me a thumbs up on this clip, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye then.